Hey, folks. Good evening. Good early evening. I woke up just a few minutes ago, about a half hour ago. I sat down at about 2.30. I know better than to sit down during the day, but I just needed to rest my feet. And I woke up, and it was daylight. And I thought I had slept all through the night, missed all of my alarms, because I was supposed to be up, you know, tomorrow morning at 1 o'clock. I thought I slept through all my alarms and was late for where I wanted to be. So it said 6.03. So I got onto my, my alarm app. And it was 6.03 p.m. the same day, today. So I guess I was a little tired. And if I'm that tired that every time I, I take a load off just for a minute and I sleep, uh, I guess that's okay because apparently I need to sleep. So I come out and checked on the birds. No baby ducks. I have a goose that all of a sudden wants to sit on some eggs. So he is sterile. He has never he has never fathered any baby goslings. So I'm just gonna let her sit on those eggs and and be a, a be a mama or at least try to be, right? Maybe who knows? Maybe she'll surprise me this year. Or he will surprise me this year. So as you can probably hear the the peepers have quieted down, the tree frogs have really quieted down, the bullfrogs are going full bore right after dark, right? And right up until tomorrow morning. So I've got to be up at one. So I am going to finish up what I need to for the day and then I'm going to try to go to sleep even though I just slept for like three and a half, four and a half hours folks. So I moved out here uh, by the bog. I want to show you something folks. This plant here is a mullen plant. It's growing right at the end of my driveway. It is growing right in gravel. And that's what they prefer, right? They prefer very poor gravelly soil. And this here is, uh, I don't know how tall it is, folks, but every time that I, throughout the summer, every time that I do a video out here, I'll stand next to this mullein plant because it'll be way up over my head, or it should be, right? And I've got a another one down over the bank that's about the same height but it's lower because it's down over the bank right so mullen is very medicinal you can do a lot with mullen it's really good for coughs it's it's a good expectorant right you can use the leaves for tea you can use the the leaves to smoke you know roll it up and inhale as, as an inhalant, right, to get down into your lungs to, it, to loosen that phlegm up, right? It has a lot of very good properties. You can make tinctures out of this, syrup out of it, however you want to do it. There's a lot of uses for that. And the leaves are really fuzzy, really hairy. So you don't want to pick one up, even though you can. You pick one up and put it in your mouth because those, those hairs, right, will irritate every part of your digestive system so you don't want to do that but you can steep it and you can smoke it the leaves the indians used to use uh as cushion for their moccasins right keep the feet a little bit warmer um really cushion against the, the ground that they're traveling on right so there's a lot of uses for mullen and i know i've covered mullen before but I thought I would stand in front of this and throughout the season we'll see how tall it gets. So that's that. And I knew I was only going to be out here for a minute so I didn't put fly dope on. And I can tell you right now, the mosquitoes are a little lively. They're a little lively. So 
Shane and I was talking earlier today uh, about what may be coming. Well, we we know what's coming, her and I. We're on the same page. And we're just talking about the necessities that that people take for granted right now, what they call necessities, like their everyday things that they use and every everyday things that they drink, like coffee. You know, most people, not everybody, but most people get up and have their cup of coffee in the morning, try to wake up, right? And they have it throughout the day sometimes to try to stay awake. Coffee, for one, is really expensive right now. And if coffee is one of those things that you feel that you cannot function on, uh, you might you might want to stock up on coffee, folks, all right? Keep a stockpile. Now, here, I've uh, cut back on my coffee drinking just so I can prepare for what's coming so it won't be such a, a shock to my system. So I drink maybe one, well, I know I have at least one cup, two at the most, and I'm minimizing it. Now, you're talking about a gal that used to drink a lot of coffee, folks. A lot of coffee. So, your body gets used to it, you get used to it. So... You know, coffee is rather expensive, but if you go to the Dollar Tree, you can get boxes of tea bags, right? Tea bags have caffeine. Tea has caffeine in it, and it's cheaper to buy, so you might want to stock up on coffee, and you may want to stock up on tea bags, folks, just to get that morning boost that you like. Now, for me, I like, I really enjoy tea with like a tuna fish sandwich. I don't know why, it just goes, they just go hand in hand for me. So, that's just a conversation that Shay and I had today about, you know, we both like our coffee, right? But we're both already cutting down a little bit just to prepare, get our body used to it. Um, cousin Shay is also cutting down on, on, or getting used to eating X amount of food a day to prepare her body for what is coming in case it gets really hard. We might only have to eat one meal a day, folks, right? Yeah, that's if we're lucky. That's if we're lucky, right? Those people that aren't prepared that are going to run out of food, they're not going to have that option to eat only one meal a day. They're going to eat whatever they can get their hands on, right? So, that's all I've got to say about that. The bugs are really, really bad. And I've got to get up at 1 o'clock and, and head into work. Well, I don't have to. That's my preferred time to go in. It does really screw with the, the sleep cycle and awake cycle. Oh, my goodness, folks. Um, not only mosquitoes, the copperheads. And what we call copperheads are deer flies here because they're the copper face. Well, it... A lot of you know what deer flies are. I'm gonna get out of, I'm talking about people going hungry and the mosquitoes aren't going hungry here, let me tell you, they are just not going hungry. Um, so I guess, you know, I'm, I'm itching and rubbing and getting bit alive, so I just wanted to stop in and say hi. Think about what your everyday, everyday current structure is like, what you use on a daily basis, what you consume on a daily basis. Stuff that you really feel that you need to stock up on. Nutritional stuff is something that should come first, right? It really should come first. Um, and just go from there. If something happened right now and if you don't have coffee and you're used to having coffee tomorrow morning, your body's going to get a little wake up call, right? It's not going to be from caffeine. It's going to be from you not having caffeine and some people get really grumpy when they don't have their caffeine right so the same with anything that you consume on a daily basis as far as habits coffee habit smoking habit drinking habit uh soda habit uh sweet tooth you get those people that have had the, those items or one of those items and they're kind of dependent on it whether it's physiological or psychological dependence right and they don't get off it and if something happens 
everybody's all in a panic and the anxiety rises and they don't have their little little fix of sweets or caffeine or nicotine or what have you that's just going to make them a little more anxious right i don't want to be around anybody that's that's going through that withdrawal nope 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 so other forms of caffeine might be a good idea. At least you're getting some caffeine, right? And tea's not all that bad, folks. It really isn't. And I'll see you next time, folks. Thank you for stopping by. And uh, just think about just think about all the treats in your life and your little habits and how you can either calm them down or or get rid of them or stock up, right, for an extended period of time. So. Y'all have a good night, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.